Let's talk about camera gear. If you're looking to improve the quality of your videos, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Today, I really wanna talk about the camera gear that I use, why I use it, and how it took my videos to the next level. All right, so to start things off, let's talk about what's running my operation. Most of you know this by now, it's what I'm filming on now, my camera of choice is the Canon EOS R. I've already made a couple videos on this, but basically it's a full frame mirrorless camera that shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second, 1080p up to 60 frames per second, and 720p up to 120 frames per second. And it's got C-Log. It's definitely not the best camera out there, and since its release, a lot better options have become available, but I don't care. It's got all the essentials for me. It checks all the boxes for what I need in a camera for YouTube. Moving on to what really brings out my inner child, let's talk about lenses. And a good way to describe my lens collection is I really focus on maximizing value. I don't own any of the most expensive glass on the market, but I think I've done a really good job getting the best possible performance for the best possible price. For my wide angle vlogging lens, I've got the Canon EF 16 to 35 millimeter F4 IS. This is the lens that I've always felt I can just leave on my camera and shoot anything if I really want to. F4 is just fast enough that I feel comfortable shooting in low light. If I really have to, the zoom range gives just enough versatility that I can shoot wide or isolate a subject, and it's stabilized, which is super important to me as a video shooter. Now when I need a little bit better low light performance or want a little bit blurry of a background, I throw on my Sigma 35mm f1.4, which is what I'm filming on now, uh, and I think it looks incredible. When I want even more compression or even more reach, I also have a 50mm f1.8 and an 85mm f1.8. These lenses are awesome, but I don't use them quite as much as the first two. It's worth noting that these are all EF lenses, meaning they have the DSLR mount, so I had to buy a $99 adapter, but you can save so much money and get very similar quality just buying the old EF lenses. I can't believe I just called them old. You can save a lot of money just using EF lenses with that adapter, especially if you're in the used market. All right, next we've got the least exciting, but maybe the most important pieces of equipment, microphones. Now, I'm not an audio person by any means, but if I didn't invest in audio equipment, all my videos would sound like this and you probably wouldn't watch them. When shooting at home, I pretty much always use the Rode VideoMic NTG, which you're listening to right now. It's a shotgun microphone, not crazy expensive, and I think it sounds great. To get it super crispy, I boom it about a foot away from my mouth, and to do that, I use a Manfrotto 420B Kami boom arm and just a long 3.5 millimeter cable going directly to my camera. Now, if it's really windy or I want a small, compact vlog setup, typically I'll just throw the Rode Video Micro on top of my camera. And if I need a little bit more flexibility or I want consistent audio moving around a lot, I'll set up my Rode Wireless Go with the Sennheiser, I think it's the ME2 lav mic. For lighting, I use the newer 480 LED panels. I've talked about them before. They're by no means the best lights on the market, not even close, but for me, they work really well. They're reasonably bright, and if you do buy the soft box, they get kind of soft, but the biggest thing for me is they run off batteries, they're pretty small, and they're super portable. I don't have a ton of space, so I'm always setting these up in my room, throwing them on a shelf, the dresser, I'm carrying them up and down stairs, and not having to plug them in and having them being so small and lightweight is super useful. What they sacrifice in quality, they more than make up for in flexibility, which helps me get more shots and more unique shots, which in the end, I think makes my videos better. Next, let's talk drones. If you're really looking to take your videos to the next level, just have a ton of fun, adding a drone to your kit can be one of the best investments you can make. My drone of choice is the DJI Air 2S. 
the fly more combo which i think everyone should get comes with the extra propellers and the extra batteries and some other accessories comes in at around 1250 dollars right now and i can confidently say i will not be upgrading anytime soon the form factor is great it fits into my camera bag with ease it's got 5.4k video in the d log profile which gives great dynamic range i've crashed it i've lost it and it still works like the day i bought it i'm so satisfied with this thing whether you're setting the scene showing off a location or getting unique shots that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise there's so much you can do with a drone and i love this one and while we're on the topic of specialty cameras I've got to add one of my favorites, it's an action camera, it is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's actually a little bit of an old camera at this point, I think they're on the 11 now, but I've got extra batteries for it and it still shoots 4K up to 60 frames per second, but most importantly I can mount it anywhere. I'll mount it all around my car to get shots of me driving. You saw me use it in the intro of this video. For specialty shots, I think it just really brings out my creativity. And while it's not the best image on the planet, it works great for me. Moving on to tripods, I pretty much just use two. One is super basic and boring, and the other was an absolute game changer. Starting with kind of the boring one, it's just this 56 inch travel tripod. Apparently I bought it almost five years ago, which is crazy. It's like $70, it folds up, it's lightweight. I like it, it gets the job done. But this next tripod was a game changer. It's the only tabletop tripod I can vlog with. It's the only one I trust to hold any angle. And honestly, it's the only one I even feel like can hold up my camera like it should. It's the small rig tabletop mini tripod. It's got a super low center of gravity so it doesn't tip over. The ball head is super strong, can hold like 4.5 pounds. It's made out of aluminum. It's got these nice rubber feet. Basically, it's exactly what I wanted for the past five years. I'm mad it took me this long to find it. It's the only vlogging tripod I use anymore. When you add it all up, this equipment isn't cheap at all. But if you buy nice stuff, I guess the moral of the story is you can keep using it for years. This gear helps me get all the shots I want at a quality I'm happy with and honestly just lets me focus on creating what I want to create. So yeah, that's about it.